God, open our minds to know you, our eyes to see you, our ears to hear you, and our hearts to love you. Amen. Amen. They say that home is where the heart is. I guess I haven't found my home. And we keep driving round in circles, afraid to call this place our own. Are we there yet? These lyrics are from songwriter Ingrid Michaelson, who I definitely had a celebrity crush on when I was 15. So when my brother told me that his friend from college actually went on a date with her once before she was famous and decided not to call her back for a second date, I was dumbfounded. And I would have totally dated you, Ingrid, but I take comfort in knowing that it was always impossible because I was 15 and she was 27, so I never really had a chance. But her songs helped, ar helped me articulate feelings that I struggled to voice in real life. And that's what music has the power to do, doesn't it? It expresses what's coming from within, passing through an exterior that is sometimes in conflict with the interior. Continuing with the song, they say there's linings made of silver folded inside each raining cloud. Well, we need someone to deliver our silver lining now. And are we there yet? They say you're not really somebody until somebody else loves you. Well, I am waiting to make somebody, somebody soon. And are we there yet? The feelings and actions of searching is something I think everyone can relate to. In fact, perpetual searching for meaning, for a home, for a reason to be here, I say, is the real crisis of humanity. The world sees a lot of bad things and good things every day, but there is perhaps no worse disaster than living a life where happiness evades you, where you have no real reason to be here. Now, it's summer, the time to go on vacation, but I haven't gone anywhere. It's not that I don't want to, but my friends are too busy, my family is spread apart, so I'd be going alone. And I've done this many times before. I traveled to collectibles conventions solo, as Sargon will recall, as he and I are able to geek out together now. But it, when it comes to travel, I'm a very realistic and probably a bit cynical. Someone will say, well, go on vacation. Who cares if it's on your own? It's still a vacation. And I respond with, Wherever you go, there you are. And it's true, right? In my view, if I have problems here, I'll have the same problems on the beach in Hawaii. It'll just be me, my problems, and $2,000 less in my bank account. Now, I've gotten better at realizing that this is a bit too rigid way of thinking. Location does matter, and vacations can be very beneficial. But for today's message, I'm illustrating that we often believe that happiness in the concept of home is something that we have to find, a place we're traveling to, a job we're seeking, a person we're pursuing, a goal we're reaching, a mystery we're solving. But what the world and Ingrid in her song often miss is that home comes within us. In today's gospel reading, right beforehand, Jesus is with his disciples who are worried if they give the things they own and their money that they won't survive, that they will fail. And Jesus says, no, you won't. Don't be afraid because God has already given you his kingdom. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. There is a lot in that one verse, and it's easy to miss what God is saying. Do not be afraid, little flock. So God is our shepherd watching over his flock, guiding us when we don't know where to go, reminding us of who we are when we wander aimlessly, continuing, for it is your father's good pleasure. So God is our parent at the same time. He protects us always. He loves us without conditions, and he provides for us. And finally, 
to give you the kingdom. God is our king. In, God is in authority, in control. God is powerful. So are we there yet? We were already there. God has already answered our initial soul-searching questions. If we want more answers, accepting his hand to hold is the only way life's mysteries will be solved. But because we are human beings who are imperfect, emotional, vulnerable, home is a concept that needs working on continually to be able to sustain and live into. And part of that work means understanding who we are and whose we are. We belong to God, not anyone else's, not the world, not ourselves. We are God's. But knowing we are God's is only half the picture. We have to also be real, even if our modern world makes that very difficult. The world may say, fake it till you make it. That is not of God. God is real. The world says, keep it in. That is not of God. God says, be open. The world says, you are all you ever need. That is not of God. God says, you were designed to need me. I want to close with finishing Ingrid's song. The last verse goes like this. When you lie on the rug while I play with the dog, it won't be too much, but this is too much, because this is too much for me to hold. This is too much for me to hold. Home, are we there yet? It is too much, not just our feelings, but God's kingdom. And are we really that special that God would just give his whole kingdom to us? God says that we are to him. And that truth should be all we ever need in this life. Amen. <laughs>